Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this is going to be a walkthrough video where we use the deep thought healing technique uh, three different ways, uh, well for three different um, complementary uh, aspects and um, it's going to be so cool. Uh, so I'm really glad that you decided to give this video a try. Um, and I, you may not recognize me with a hat on. Um, this is my hair, remember? <laughs> but it's just kind of cold out, so um, hope you don't mind. <laughs> okay, so um, deep thought healing technique. Um, what we're gonna do, um, uh, first I'll explain very briefly. There is an intro video, um, which I recommend. I liked it. <laughs> that I just made um, that explains more of the concepts of this deep thought uh, video if, if you want you know more detail but in brief um, the three uh, ways that this deep thought video will help you um, is for great sleep because you uh, to be able to rest your mind can you can your mind be at rest um, and this helps too. this can help with focus during the day also help you be less um, sort of anxious or neurotic or frazzled or distracted you know being able to rest your mind is um, good for daytime stuff but it's very key for deeper sleep at night um, the way the angels keep showing me this image for this set is like if you can rest your mind then your body can be your body and spirit aren't so glued together and you can sleep properly you can your spirit goes far away on the astral and you can sleep, you can rest, I'm sorry, and get healings from your angels and deeper healings and do deeper work on the astral with your angels and then your body gets more restful sleep. Um, even if it's just two or three hours of sleep, if your mind is at rest, then your body and your spirit can separate the way they're supposed to ideally. If your mind is not at rest and well, if your mind is really not at rest, then you can't get to sleep. You can't fall asleep or maybe you keep waking up um, because it's like your mind is like a glue. Um, and so your spirit really can't get so far away if your mind isn't at rest. And so that's the first and possibly biggest function of this video is to help you clear energy from your conscious and subconscious mind that is... Uh, so that your mind can be at rest when you want it to be. Um, the second aspect of this video is for astral recall. Astral recall, in brief, if you want more, you can read, listen to that uh, video, um, the intro video, but uh, in brief, um, astral recall is remembering what you did on the astral in your sleep. Uh, typically the night before. Oh, what did I do the night before? Uh, in my sleep. So that's astral recall. And typically people don't really have good astral recall. And uh, But if you clear energy blocks in your mind and your subconscious mind, uh, that can open you up more to remembering what you did with your angels in your sleep. And a lot of times that can help you make faster decisions, help you prioritize things in your life. Um, what's really important, what's important for next month and not this month, um, because a lot of that planning and thinking out, you can do with your angels in your sleep very efficiently, and then you can just remember what you figured out, um, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel the next day. Um, so again, that's astral recall. And um, if you want more information on that, I mean, I, I have a video series I did six years ago called Sleeping and Waking Up, which... Um, is more basic, but it does have a good foundation of videos. Uh, it's three videos, Sleeping and Waking Up is the name of the playlist. Um, but then also there's, like I said, the intro video of this playlist. We'll talk a little bit more and give an example of how I used Astral Recall today. <laughs> um, and so using this video will help you over time with Astral Recall to be able to remember what you did in your sleep in a, in a healthy, you know, time-saving kind of way, and also kind of reassuring kind of way. It's nice to know that, you know, you're working on something. Because sometimes, like, say you haven't finished a certain project, you're like, what's wrong with me? Why haven't I finished it? But 
if you have astral recall, then you can realize like, oh yeah, there are still some issues that I'm working out with my angels on that, you know, cause things happen first in your sleep. If a project isn't done in your sleep, it's not going to get done in the body yet. Um, or certainly not the way you want it to. And so sometimes remembering, you know, how you're working on it and what stage you're at on the astral with your angels, you know, that way you don't have to jump to negative conclusions about, you know, what's wrong with you. <laughs> you can just remember the status of it, you know, in on the astral. And, um, you know, it, it saves time. Uh, the third aspect of this video is non-resistance with positive change um, because angels can always show you positive change that you can make in your life, um, in all areas of your life. And um, it's very possible that um, you and I and all of us have areas of our energy that maybe are subconscious but that make us resistant to change. Um, and uh, your brain may turn it into some logical reason, but underneath it, it is just resistance to positive change and you can clear it. And that way it might help you have different realizations and realize, oh my gosh, yeah, I can do that, you know, and, and kind of open up uh, positive change for you. So uh, again, this video, that's the third aspect of this video is to help you uh, clear resistance to positive change. Okay, so let's get going. Um, let's ground first, and then I will quickly explain what deep thought is as I just walk you right into it. Um, if you want more about what the deep thought technique is, there's a whole playlist of deep thought technique videos, and also um, there's an introducing or discussing deep thought video that's a half hour long that goes into a lot of detail about why the deep thought healing technique was created and yada yada. Okay, so let's first ground uh, very briefly. Um, so this shows grounding. Um, grounding is a connection to the center of the earth. So this would be the surface of the earth, right? You're standing on it. And then this is the center of the earth. Obviously, it's you know, this is like miles and miles and miles down, right? So you create with your intention, with your conscious intention, grounding, okay? And I suggest that you create it as wide as your whole aura because that allows you to release more and more reliably so that even if you get a little triggered and a little blocked, you still have this giant grounding. So you can still release enough to stay stable and clear your energy and, and you know, move forward. So you can imagine making this grounding as wide as your whole aura, connect it down to the core of the earth, and red or orange or yellow in color. Okay, so go ahead and make it as high as your third chakra, which is right where your sternum bone ends. That's your third chakra, okay? So imagine making a big red or orange or yellow grounding, whichever color you prefer right now. Wide, as wide as your whole aura and all the way down to the core of the earth, wide all the way down to the core of the earth. And it's behind you, in front of you, and it's like a big waterfall. So you can have a copy of it out in front of you, your grounding, and just comb downward like you're untangling and just wash it out with the gold light from your hand chakras and your fingertips. You have chakras in your fingertips too. And just imagine all that gold light coming out of your hands and washing through this copy of your grounding and you just want to wash out energy blocks, anything hard that's blocking the flow because you want a really nice waterfall release that's continual all the way down to the core of the earth. So that way, like I said, even if you get a little triggered at some point, you still have so much flow and so much letting go that you'll be able to, you know, unblock and keep, keep going. All right, so that's grounding. Good job, guys. Um, so now a deep thought technique. Um, this is a uh, this is a reminder of what it is. Um, you basically imagine three um, sections out in front of you, just like this, except three dimensional. So the eighth chakra, eighth chakra. Um, technically, that's um, the gold. You have an energy center. Um, like your seventh chakra is in the top of your head and then your eighth chakra is all the way up there 
So it's there's a big gap between your seventh and your eighth chakra. It's because your eighth chakra doesn't come in to your body. It, it shouldn't, it doesn't need to. Your eighth chakra stays way above your aura, at least three feet above the top of your aura, and a lot of times even more than that. And so it just shines down gold, uh, eternal wisdom on you all the time. But um, we use it as a part of this deep thought healing technique because we want you to be as open as possible to this eighth chakra healing energy as open as is healthy because this eighth chakra healing energy of yours is your eternal wisdom it's things that you've realized and learned in past lives and so it'll help you to just be more mellow and smarter basically <laughs> you know don't sweat the small stuff that kind of thing um so you're just gonna imagine out in front of you representations of, you know, your eighth chakra. Like make a make a gold, you know, rectangle uh, or cube, I guess, uh, out in front of you that represents your eighth chakra. And then um, you can make these uh, blue, uh, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, and um, you know, kind of a medium blue conscious mind in the middle and subconscious mind below that and you want to imagine the blending surfaces in between the eighth chakra and the conscious mind and between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and so that's the idea you just comb through it all because you want that eighth chakra energy to be shining down and you want your conscious mind and your subconscious mind to be open to that eighth chakra wisdom right and so first let's do what's called a blue soak and if you like it, I have a whole blue soak video in the deep thought playlist. Uh, but anyway, you bring up blue earth energy, like a medium blue, light blue, medium blue, uh, from the center of the earth and just soak these lower two sections, the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. Just bring up from the center of the earth, uh, light blue energy or medium blue earth energy from the core of the earth. And again, this is just into this representation out in front of you. You're just, you know, you're working like a 3D thing out in front of you. So for me, it'd be right here, right? And you just bring up the blue earth energy and soak your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. Ah, that feels good. And if you're a newbie, you may not feel it on a physical level, but it's still helping. So keep going. All right, so that blue earth energy soaking through your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, that's a blue soak. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look for energy blocks and melt them. Pretty easy, right? And um, so energy blocks, they are just like hard pieces of energy and they can look, uh, when you do this, they can look like boxes or rocks or bushy things and you just don't want those there. And so um, the first way we're using this video is to be able to rest your mind, right? And that's sort of the first and foremost purpose of this video in my mind is to help people to be able to, when they want, bring their mind to a state of rest, right? So just imagining these three areas out in front of you, your eighth chakra, your conscious mind, and your subconscious mind, right? Um, think of imagine or see any energy blocks that make it hard for your mind to be at rest and just notice where some of those are and imagine what they look like and then just start clearing them start melting them away with the gold light from your hands or gold light from a hose maybe that you make um, you can also bring up blue earth energy and soak those energy blocks so for me, some energy blocks that make it harder for my mind to be at rest, they're in that middle section, the conscious mind section. And um, they look like, they look like um, white ice cubes, like about 10 of them. So I'm just gonna bring up the blue earth energy and soak them and then gold light. And they're melting away. So whatever yours look like, or if you don't see them, but you just think, you know, just think that you're doing it, use your intention and say, okay, well, I'm melting energy blocks that keep my mind from being at rest, right? And um, you want to melt away what's healthy and gentle for you to clear at this time. 
um, that's why in this healing, you know, we do the same techniques on Friday and Sunday and Tuesday because each time someone will be ready for more and more and more clearing. You don't want to shove it all in one day. That's not gentle enough. Okay. Um, so if you have your intention be, well, I'm going to be aware of and clear what's healthy and gentle for me to clear right now, then you don't have to worry that you're doing too much. Okay. Um, so again, any energy blocks that are blocking your mind from being at rest when you want it to be. So be aware of some more energy blocks that make it hard for your mind to be at rest. And for me, I notice kind of a swirly energy, like a heavy, black, smoky, swirly energy in the lower section, the subconscious mind section. And a lot of times something that moves like that and it's swirly and cloudy, it's a, it's a being. It could be actually another person, um, but it could also be a being that is a spirit, but it doesn't have a body, it's just a being. <coughs> but either way, neither of those situations are what you want. If it's a person, you could just wash that person out with gold light, but if it's a being, you ask your angels to remove it so that you don't have to deal with all the drama. Um, so either way, you could play it safe and say, angels, can you remove that? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, this, this sort of black smoky energy in my subconscious mind that's making it hard for my mind to be at rest. I'm just going to say, angels, can you please remove that? And my angels say, oh, it's actually three beings, Janet, that are clustered together. Um, but that's just for my learning. They're saying that. So and they're removing them for me. So while my angels do that, I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> so that's all done. <laughs> um, okay, so one more time. Just any energy blocks um, or beings that are in your conscious or subconscious mind that make it hard for your mind to be at rest. You want your mind to be at rest when you're sleeping, you know, when you want to sleep. So what blocks your mind from being at rest? Just notice where it is, what does it seem like to you? So for me, I actually have another being, which isn't that uncommon, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, if you have an, a being in your space, it's a, it's a different energy, it's not your energy, so it would affect you that way, where you're not quite at rest, you know, there's something active. So again, it just looks like a white bushy, um, almost like a dandelion flower, you know, the bushiness of a dandelion flower. So I'm just saying, angels, can you please remove that? And so my angels are doing that. So I'm going to sneak in another sip of tea. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> they just got rid of it. And, um, so again, keep combing through your conscious and subconscious mind and you can bring up more blue earth energy into your subconscious mind and your conscious mind and, you know, just kind of ease down some of, more of this eighth chakra gold light into your conscious and subconscious mind. And now let's, you can always do more of that, you know, by going back. Um, but uh, let's do some astral recall uh, work. So just look for any energy blocks or imagine any energy blocks that are in the way of you having healthy astral recall, healthy, productive astral recall. Again, astral recall is remembering what you did in your sleep the night before. So um, it's like a specific kind of way of reading yourself really it's just reading what you did in your sleep or intuiting what you did in your sleep uh, so anyway just imagine those three areas eighth chakra conscious mind and subconscious mind and look for any energy blocks um, or beings that make it harder for you to have astral recall and you want to clear those melt them away with gold light So for me, um, this section of my conscious mind, it just has these, these um, like horizontal energy blocks that look like boards, you know, just boards stacked up on top of each other. And they're kind of a silver color, actually. I noticed the boards first, just their shape, before I noticed the color. 
the color, I sort of intuit it, and then I can kind of see it after I intuit it. And they are silver, so they're all these silver boards. And uh, so I'm just gonna bring up blue earth energy because silver is a super high vibration. Like obviously that would not make your mind at rest. It's way too high a vibration to have in your energy field. White is also too high. Um, anyway, so I'm just bringing up blue earth energy and then gold light and somebody's corded into these boards. So that's making it a little harder for them to clear. So I'm just using gold light to melt away energy cords going into these energy blocks. And now they're melting much faster. There, now they're gone. <laughs> Does feel nice. Okay, so let's do that one more time. Energy blocks, uh, clear energy blocks or beings in the way of you having healthy astral recall. So just notice your conscious mind and your subconscious mind section. You can bring up the blue earth energy, soak them, and then the gold light. Any energy blocks in the way of you having healthy astral recall. So for me this time, I'm noticing the blending surface in between my conscious mind and my subconscious mind. So right here. And I'm noticing that I have some energy blocks right on that blending surface. And you don't want that. You want the flow to be good in between all these sections, right? So I'm noticing some energy blocks right here in between those sections. So I'm going to melt those. And just as a personal example, they happen to be just energy blocks from past lives uh, that I didn't get to clear. But you don't have to know that. You just, you know, clear something that's just melted away. Uh, gold light, just melt away the energy blocks and just relax while you do it. You can even wiggle your toes, think about your grounding, maybe even recreate your grounding if you start to feel spacey. Imagine brand new, nice wide grounding. There we go, that cleared. Okay, great. So again, that was for astral recall, helping you to remember in a productive and healthy way what you did in your sleep. Um, and of course, you can rewind and do more of that uh, if you wish. And now we're going to finish up by doing the final aspect of it, which is non-resistance to positive change. And again, it may not be conscious, but there may be significant parts of your energy that sort of push against change, you know, like just blanket fear change, you know, even though the change is really good for you and would really help you and fix half of your problems, you know, so you don't want that. You want to fully cooperate with your angels and be open to that positive change so that you and your angels, you know, have free reign to, to create, right? So, um, so go ahead, imagine these three areas, eighth chakra, conscious mind, subconscious mind, just a copy of all that out in front of you and look for any energy blocks that cause you to be resistant to positive change. And notice where it is and what what is it like and then you can just start to clear it and maybe with some blue earth energy some gold light so for me the energy blocks that i need to clear are right on this blending surface between my eighth chakra and my conscious mind so they're right here and for me it just it looks white but it's not a being it's like a just like a ceiling that shouldn't be there that's white so I'm just going to bring up blue earth energy to soak it and the blue earth energy and then gold light to melt it away and it's getting thinner a lot of times things don't clear instantly so you just relax and don't try too hard just give it a little time sometimes I like noticing you know oh it's half cleared it's three quarters cleared so I know I'm making progress even if it's still there a little bit there we go just cleared so again, let's do one more, and that's to clear energy blocks in the way of you um, uh, wanting and creating positive change. So resistance to positive change. Any energy blocks that are you resisting positive change or cause you to resist positive change. Energy blocks or beings. So um, notice where 
it is um, and then what it looks like and then just start clearing it and again you could also do this with just your intention without seeing or perceiving or imagining just say okay I am clearing any energy blocks that are in the way of my positive change any resistance to my positive change I'm melting out of my mind my conscious and subconscious mind melting resistance to positive change okay but for me, the specific thing I notice is like this spinning white ball of energy um, in my conscious mind section over to one side. And that's just a being. And again, a, a, a good clue of that is because it's moving. <laughs> so, so that's the kind of energy if it spins around like that, that'll, that could keep you awake at night. You know, keep you awake for at least a half hour. You know, you get something spinning around in your mind, right? And a lot of times if you can't stop thinking about something, it could be something like that. So I'm just going to have my angels. Angels, can you please recycle that? I'm not going to mess with it. Just point it out to my angels and have a cup of tea while they're doing it. Ah, the tea is optional, of course. All right, let's see. Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's end with a blue soak. Just bring up blue earth energy into your subconscious and your conscious mind section out in front of you. And then a little bit extra gold light for these parts of your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And then let's uh, just think about, you know, your whole space, your aura and your grounding and your your body and uh, you could redo your grounding whatever color you want red or orange or yellow make it nice and wide as wide as your whole aura and as high as your third chakra below your sternum bone nice and wide and maybe comb through a copy of it out in front of you just comb through with gold light and wash away because you just cleared a lot in this video and so you want to make sure that your grounding is nice and wide because it's a there's a really positive ripple effect of doing this kind of work but you got to keep this grounding nice and flowing even for the next day or two because it's a big ripple effect it's not big as in dramatic as long as you keep your grounding flowing really I want to say like 80% of drama in life can be fixed by a big flowing grounding <laughs> like I'm not even kidding All right, cool. And if you want, you can do an earth energy soak and use that grounding like a straw and bring up that color earth energy, red or orange or yellow, up, 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 and soak in it. So you're soaking your body, your aura, both, both auras, astral body, physical body, everything. Just soak all your energy centers in the red or orange or yellow earth energy from the center of the earth, your organs, your bones. Now it's an earth energy soak. You can leave that up if you want, or you can bring it back down to the level of your third chakra. I'm gonna leave mine up though. All right, super cool guys. So what did we do? We did deep thought healing technique um, for three different aspects. One, to help you to have your mind more at rest when you want it to be, so that your mind could be at rest, not only when you wanna sleep, but at any time, uh, and then uh, for astral recall to help you remember in a productive and healthy way uh, what you did in your sleep uh, to you know help you save time help you uh, get valuable information about yourself and your growth and also we did it for non-resistance to positive change so that you can be more and more open to your own positive change okay I think it's so great that you tried this video and um, I would uh, welcome any comments that you have if you wish under the video that could help YouTube also to take the video more seriously also um, what could help is if you give it a thumbs up if you did like it um, so take care and congratulations for working on this I think you're awesome Woo bye